Hello there everybody, Nicolini here. I'm uh, doing a bit of a redone version of the first video on my page that was towards being persistent, mainly because I feel this format offers us more control over the audio segment. I know a lot of people like visual things, and we're kind of toying around some ideas to get that done, but for the time being, we're gonna just go with this format as it offers us better control over audio. Um, now, some of you may have saw my video on being persistent. Some of you may have not seen my video on being persistent. Regardless, here we go. So, the other day I was listening to a podcast on being persistent. And the allegory they were using was that of a sharpened axe. If you have a sharpened axe, you can cut down the tree faster and have more use out of the wood. Whereas if you have a dull axe, you're going to keep whacking away at that tree. And the wood's going to be in shambles by the time you cut that thing down. You've wasted a whole lot of time and effort. And you could have saved yourself a lot of time with a sharp axe. Now, um, one of the guys on this podcast also does his own little like solo thing. And one of the things he talked about was he's not talking about cutting corners. No, he's talking about taking a look at what you do and seeing how you can better improve it. How you can make it better in order to achieve your goals or your plans or whatever. Because persistence is important if you make a plan. It's important to be persistent in fulfilling that plan. If you are trying to get a good grade on a test or you're trying to work on a blog, it's good to be persistent towards whatever plans you've made for it. But just relying on, well, if I keep uploading things online, eventually somebody will find me isn't enough. You need to do more than that. Um, you know, and, and you see this all the time online. People will say, well, if you keep doing it enough, it will eventually happen. You'll eventually pop up on popularity and people will read your stuff or watch your videos. Okay, you know, uh, uploading daily is good. Consistency is one of the keys. And not giving up on your plans and your dreams is good. But again, you're going to need more than that. Well, what more can you do? Let's take a step back and see what you're doing. That's one of the most important things you can do. Like... Again, let's say you're studying for a test. Okay, you, you study your brains out. You're going at it, and you don't get the grade you want. Take a step back. Okay, what did I do wrong? What didn't I do right? How can I improve my study methods to get a better grade on the next exam? Or let's say you are a content creator. You know, rethink how you're presenting your stuff to people. Like, let's say you're writing a story. Now, how is the content of the story? Is it good? Is it sharp? Is it the best that you can put out? Um, how is your marketing? You know, how, how is your branding coming across to people? And how is your distribution of the story? How is that going? Because that's important. All of those things are important. You know, your content. Nobody wants to read a, nobody wants to read a crappy story. They want to read a good story. Uh, you know, marketing. That's important. You know, the look, the feel, the branding, the, the taglines, the slogans, all of that stuff that can draw people in, pull them in, and then distribution. It doesn't matter if your story is Nobel Prize material, if nobody can find it, nobody can read it, and nobody can enjoy it. It doesn't matter if you've got this interesting concept or you have an act for taking genres and mixing them around in ways people never thought possible. If people can't find your story, they cannot read it. Just some examples. Um, and one other thing I want to say is I really just get tired of people blaming the outside for their failures. I see this a lot from people. Oh, I'm not some popular person here, so nobody's going to pay attention to my artwork. Or I do a YouTube video series that talks about the fandom, and I don't have fursuiters in it. Or this guy does videos, and that doesn't have fursuiters in it, so that's not going to get popular or whatever. You know, I feel that there's only so much you can... So much blame you can lay on other people for that. And um, getting back to the idea of sharpening your axe, you got to make sure that what you're doing is all there. If you're doing everything you can, and you're constantly improving, and you're constantly, you know, kicking ass, so to speak, then yeah, okay, you may have some grounds for complaint there. But you know, I know somebody who would just they would just uh, ring me out because. They tried different things. They tried blogging, they tried Tumblr, they tried Twitter. And 
I just felt like they weren't using the mediums properly, you know. They said that they used the blog. They used blogger. They didn't get that much attention. Okay, you know what? I actually went and tracked down this person's blog, and there are periods of time where they went as many as three months without posting. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the world of blogging, that's not good at all. <laughs> that is not good. Because what that tells people is that uh, during that drought period, there's people that may have stumbled on your blog, and they're going to go somewhere else because why am I going to pay attention to somebody who barely updates their things um, so again you know making sure the axe are sharpened yeah can you dig that I think you can so um, if you like this make sure you rate comment and subscribe we do have a Facebook page uh, Nicolini well it's Nicolini is a name but it's uh, facebook.com forward slash the blue bunny um, we may be putting out more of these here on Facebook and on YouTube we'll see but until then, right on.